Hello, Nick here. And kind of as promised, another video on the Raycall RA17. I figured, because I figured something else out. So after reading the manual about four times, I figured out how to tune this thing so the dial is accurate and everything is money, all right? Or as close as you can get with a radio that was made in the 60s and dropped on its ear and had parts fall off of it because it was dropped so hard, all right? So there's two calibration adjustments, one for the regular AM, what they call the dial tape, and one for the BFO. It's actually called... What does that say? It says calibrate BFO right here, that, that position down there. So there's a cal, and then there's a, I can't read it through the camera lens, cal BFO or something like that. So you start with the dial tape. You got to make the dial tape accurate for the frequency you're trying to pull in. So uh, I'm going to see if there's a Shannon Vomit at 13264. So you have to tune the dial to the closest 100 megahertz. So what you do is you set this at 3 kilohertz, BFO off, put this on Cal. Probably help if we peak this a little here. Let's peak the antenna. I didn't do that yet. Uh, 8 to 16. Yeah, so we should be in the right range here. All right. Right around there. Okay, so let's go up to... Uh, so the closest 100 hertz, kilohertz increments, 13,300. Put the dial on. Perfect. Make sure BFO is off, bandwidth three, put this on Kale. You hear that tone? I have to zero beat that tone. Hear it? So it goes high one way, high the other way. In the center where it's dead, that's zero beat. So this one actually, it's zero beat at 13,300. At 13,200, thirteen two hundred. See, we're off three quarters of a kilohertz. All right, so we're going somewhere in the middle. So, anyway, so if you're off, what you do is there's a slider right here that slides this. Let's turn that off. All right, and so I've got mine all the way this way. Because that's, I have to. But it, when it's brand new, you've got leeway either way. So what you do is you slide this and you put it dead on. And then you're, you're accurate for X number of kilohertz until it kind of wanders off. So I know I need to be all the way. Well, let's go back to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 300. All right, 300 right there. Put it on Kale. Then let's zero beat it. Right there. Now let's move that right there. Dead money. Put it back on AVC. Now, let's just make sure we're peaked. Right there. Eight to 16, we're on 13 megahertz. All right, so we want to go to 13. Oh, now we have to uh, calibrate the BFO. So being 80 years old and dropped on its ear 100 times so hard that shit fell off of it, this BFO isn't perfect anymore either. So what you do is put it on three, put the BFO on, put it on... Calibrate BFO. 
then you zero beat it using this. Now I've already zero beat it, that's why you don't hear anything. But if let's say, you know, you'd think you'd need to be at zero normally. Well, you're way off. This thing's way off at zero. So we need to zero beat this. Up the other way, back, up the other way. Dead silence. Now the BFO is calibrated. So we can turn this back to AVC. We know we've got this calibrated and we've got this calibrated. BFO is on, bandwidth is three kilohertz. We're on AVC, antenna's peaked. Let's go to 13264 and hopefully Shannon's the, Shannon is home. 13, uh, two, There she is. Look at the dial. 13264. I didn't even have to touch the BFO. I pre zero beated the BFO. Look at that. That's what you call do re me. That's money. Man, maybe I don't need to take this out of the case and find that master heterodyne screw and have Robert help me hook up a signal generator. <laughs> I, look at it. Look. Anyway, that shows you if you read the manual and if something just doesn't sit right in your brain, just keep reading it over and over and over again. All right. And I did. And look. This shit's working. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out.